Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for You. This morning I'm going to do something that I haven't done with jQuery, and that is put multiple buttons on a page. Not terribly exciting stuff, but something that I haven't demonstrated, and since it looked in the previous examples like having that would be hard, I wanted to just show you how easy it is. So you're just going to put down buttons the way you normally would, but I'm going to make sure they have a value so that I can select them using normal jQuery selectors. So up here in my functions for the buttons, I have this, input.buttonHide, so you see I'm selecting it, and then I give it a click function input.buttonShow, again give it a click function and have it do whatever it's going to do. So I have one paragraph down here that has a class, another that doesn't, and what I do is I select the paragraph with the class example and then I either hide it or show it depending on which of the two buttons I press. This way you don't have to do what I've been doing artificially in some of the other examples and having a link and a button. You can obviously put as many buttons as you like and just select them using this kind of setup. So let's just see what that looks like. Here it is. I have my hide button and I have my show button. Again, not terribly complicated, nothing exciting, but since I hadn't demonstrated this, I thought it would be useful to show that if you have more than one button, obviously you have to give them values, and then you can go ahead and select them and assign them functions the way you normally would in any JavaScript. This is just jQuery doing that. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.